Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Voyager's Hockey. It's preseason action, but it's still Friday night here in Lacklebiche, and everyone's looking to have a good time. I know I am. I've been anxiously anticipating the beginning of this season, and I got to tell you, these guys are looking pretty sharp out there. We've got ourselves some guys coming back from the season before. We got some newcomers, and we've got ourselves one thing in common, hunger. That's right. These Voyagers are looking to make an impression this season, and with these preseason games, we have a few guys vying for those last available positions in the starting uh, lineups. So with that, we are going to get underway. The Voyagers will be battling against the University of Alberta's Augustana. And they're off! Augustana wins the face off, bring it through the neutral zone, dump it into the corner. Hall comes up from behind the net, and he passes it back to the defenseman. Goes off the skate, goes off front, but the Voyagers pick it up, and they bring it back through the neutral zone and into Augustana territory. Voyagers now looking to create some sort of an impact or impression. They still got the puck after someone loses uh, his footing. Voyagers now circling around, having a look. He passes out front, chip shot. He gets deflected, and Augustana now clears the puck. Voyagers retrieve it at the red, regroup, and they dump it back out. Augustana now just whacks it back in haphazardly, hoping to get a change up. Voyagers are in the meantime over there, ready to scoop it up and get things started. Number 14, going through the neutral zone, looking for a man, can't find anyone, and he gets knocked off the puck, but with a few quick jabs, he's able to pass it back to his defenseman. Voyagers now looking, dumping it in. Bounce off the boards, and Augustana's goaltender covers it up. Augustana's goal, starting goal this evening is Jack Osman from Fort McMurray, Alberta. The team he played for before this is the Sioux Lookout Bombers. And he, that's exactly what he said before the game is look out because he's ready for some preseason action. Voyagers win the faceoff. Back to the blue line. Shot goes wide. But Voyagers get the bounce off the boards. Augustana managed to steal it away. Augustana now going through the neutral zone into Voyager territory. Sams the brakes. Shot up front. What a save by Hall. McDonald picks it up, passes it up to the net, and we have ourselves some offensive action. Pass up front. Augustana managed to break that up. Voyagers, however, managed to corral the puck in the neutral zone. The man gets knocked off the puck, and Augustana has it now, and they dump it in. Augustana with the dump in, looking for another changeup. Voyagers. Managed to capitalize and regroup and take the puck. They get it out over the blue line, but Augustana managed to steal it back. Augustana now pass it back deep into their own end. Voyagers change a couple guys. Augustana looking for that stretch pass. Voyagers has managed to break it up, and Hall freezes the puck to get ourselves not only a new face off, but uh, also some fresh legs out on the ice. 17.59 left in this first period, but oh boy, I'm already sweating bullets. Augustana wins that face off. Raymond with the shot, and Halsey with a big blocker save. Voyager's now battling for it. Augustana has the corner, but Chalifu manages to get a stick on it. Voyager's and Augustana battling behind the net. Augustana comes out with a pass up to the blue line. He's looking for the clear zone. We're in a pad save through traffic by Hall. Voyagers now. Dump behind the net and Abley takes it. And he has a skate. Stretch pass to the red line. Deflection off the stick. No icing. Augustana picks it up behind their own net, but Voyagers managed to come up with it with a very weak dump attempt. Voyagers now. Looking for the pass. Pass up to the blue line. Shot quick. Goes off a stick and up into the netting. And that looks like it's going to be a face-off in Augustana territory. We have ourselves some sweet preseason action. And if you're in the neighborhood, folks, come on down because this is some great, great hockey. Voyagers win that face-off, but Augustana manages to come up with it at the very end. Dump it behind the net. Pass up. Little dipsy doodle maneuver, and he tries to clear it, but 
as he tries to do a lob pass to his man. It goes over the boards and into the Voyager's bench. There's definitely no love lost between these two teams. Uh, even though it's preseason action, these guys are looking to play a physical game. Voyager's win the face off. Pass up to the blue line, he dumps it in. Augustana comes up with it, but he retreats behind the net. Pass cross now to no one, and the Voyagers coming in, putting on some pressure. Augustana now falling back. And they manage to come up with the puck and chip it out of the zone. Oh, some quick maneuvers by number 17, but that gets broken up. Voyagers come up with it now uh, along the boards. Pass cross. The Voyagers looking for a long stretch pass, but nobody's home. But McDonald Correa's pa pass attempt is going to result in an icing. Carruthers having a few words with the linesman now, trying to get some confirmation on a couple of <laughs> clarifications when it comes to some calls. Augustana. Won, it was uh, quite the shuffle. They won the face off, but Hall's helmet came off, Hall's mask came off, so they're gonna do a big reset. Watson out there, along with Donald Correa, Yarish, Elkins. Elkins heading to the face off dot. The Voyagers come up with the puck. Some quick feet by Elkins, passes it across. McDonald Correa, Correa now going into Augustana territory. Pass up front, nobody home though. It was right through the crease, baby. Augustana now showing some patience and regrouping. Defenseman's having a look. Voyagers trying to create some sort of strategy. They dump it behind the net. Hall has it, takes a whack at it. Voyagers come up with it after it uh, was touched by Augustana at the hash marks. Voyagers now through the neutral zone. Shot towards the net, but Augustana got a stick on it, and it goes up into the netting. 15.39 left in this first period. At the dot, Voyagers with the big face-off win. Shot that gets deflected off of a knee pad. And Augustana now looking to clear the zone. They get it just over the blue line, but the Voyagers take it right back. Number 14 looking for a man up front. Sh pass across, nobody home, and Augustana is going to try and clear it out now. Get it over the blue line and bring it through the neutral zone. But Voyagers' defense managed to regroup and gather it up. And with a saucer pass, it goes over the blue. Augustana now has to retreat. Voyagers getting that puck yet again in the neutral zone, dumping it right back in. Pass cross. Voyagers managed to steal it away. Oh, but he loses his footing. But he's able to take a couple whacks at the puck, and it forces Augustana to head back into their own zone and regroup yet again. Augustana now looking to Creates some sort of impression. Pass across. Gets broken up by the Voyageurs. Voyageurs now. Quick little hip check, and that knocks the man off the puck, but the Voyageurs still manage to retain control of it. Voyageurs into the neutral zone, put it towards the blue, and then we're going to get a few guys changing. Augustana now looking to come up with some speed. As they cut through the neutral zone over the blue, hip check, knocks him right off the puck. Some battling going on in the corner, and the Voyagers come up with it behind the net. Pass up to Shalafu. Shalafu gets it over the blue, but Augustana breaks up that pass attempt. Shalafu yet again takes another whack at it, and Augustana breaks that up once more time. Hall comes out, has a look, leaves it for Mumby. Mumby passes around behind the net, but Augustana comes up with it near the hash marks. Augustana looking for a pass. No one home at the blue line, and it goes all the way down. And their goaltender comes out to play it. Augustana, having a look. Retreat to the behind the net. The Voyageurs keeping that pressure on, and that's key 
in when it comes to their strategy this season. Nice shoulder check. Hagestad manages to just narrowly avoid that. Got a bit of a scrum going on right by the blue line for the Voyager's bench. There's enough movement of the puck. The ref isn't calling it, calling it down, though. And the Voyageurs manage to squeak it out and break that pass attempt up. Fly shot from the blue line, but that gets broken up by a hit and skate. Oh, a nice big hit from Coral. Shot attempt. That gets deflected into the corner. Voyageurs have it now behind the net. Quick whack and Augustan's gonna come up with it near the hash marks. Shot from the blue line, it was pretty light and Hall has no problem corralling that in. Covering up the puck to get ourselves some fresh legs on the ice and a new face off. 12.37 left in this first period. And I gotta tell you folks, there is no shortage of action in this game thus far. Voyagers come up with the puck after the faceoff. Yarsh now clears the zone, brings it into Augustana territory. And some big hits in the corner. The Voyagers come up with it behind the net. Voyagers, oh, and he takes a greasy shot from behind. And that's going to be a penalty. Hall hitting to the bench, but he isn't going to get there in time to get the six man out there. Nevertheless, that is going to be two big ones for Augustana. Heading to the sin bin, we have number number 19, Javen Leslie from Lloyd Minister, Alberta. And uh, he's going to be <laughs> leaving his team shorthanded. Going to get a second attempt at this faceoff. Augustana wins it, but Voyagers come up with it. Circle around behind the net, up to the blue line. The Voyager's looking to set up. Shot towards the goal. That uh, goes off the goalie's pad and into the behind the net. Voyager's have it again at the blue line. Pass across, up to the blue. And that goes off a skate. But Voyager's still managed to maintain control. Voyager's have it now, but once again at the blue line. And unfortunately, he was trying to bank it off the glass and into the corner, but that went over and into the netting. So. From the looks of it though, that might have gone off an Augustana stick and we are gonna get a face off in Augustana territory. Voyagers win the face off, gets chipped up to the blue line, pass cross, has a look, passes back to the defense, shot! From the face-off dot, but that goes wide. Voyager still have possession of the puck. Pass back to the corner. Up to the face-off dot. He has a look, sends it back to his defenseman. Cross to the blue line, and he passes down to his man. Unfortunately, he loses a handle on it, and it winds up on Augustana's stick. But Augustana, with their clearing attempt, sends it into their own bench, so the face-off is going to remain in Augustana territory. How's this for a little cosmic energy? One minute and 11 seconds left in this power play. Voyager's heading to face off dot number 26. Jake Parker looking to win this one. Augustana wins that. Send it to the corner, try to do a big clearing attempt, but to no avail, and now they come up with it in the neutral zone. We have ourselves an on-man rush. Shot, but the big save by Hall. Bell has it now. Carries it over the blue line, has a look, passes back to number 22. He takes a shot and knocks the stick out of Augustana's hand, so now they're down yet another guy for a brief moment. Voyageurs prevent the clearing attempt. Pass across to the blue, Bell. Bell has it yet again. Back across his fellow defenseman. Shot towards the net, deflection! Oh, and how did that puck stay out of the net? They were right on the doorstep, and the net was wide open. The goalie managed to stretch across and just bat it out of the air, and that prevents us from having a first goal in this first period. 10 minutes, 46 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen, and 
we are having a blast down here at the Bold Center. If you're in the neighborhood, if you can hear my voice, and I know you can, come on down for some great Voyager's action. Voyager's win that face off. Pass from blue to the hash marks. That gets broken up, but Voyager's managed to keep it in. Augustana breaks it up yet again. Send it all the way down. Hall comes out, gets the paddle down, and he leaves it for his men. Voyager is taken out of their own zone. That's Mumby. Leaves it for his man. And he brings it all the way in. Sends it behind the net. But Augustan is there to try and whack it back out. Augustan comes up with it in the corner. The Voyager's knock him off the puck. And they won't be able to keep it in though, so the Voyager's gonna have to clear the zone. And that is the end of that power play. Voyager's applying a lot of pressure, but Augustana coming up with some big key defensive plays to keep it a 0-0 hockey game. Augustana with the puck behind their own net now. Pass cross into the corner. Looking to clear the zone, but the Voyager's yet again applying a lot of pressure. And they manage to keep it in, steal the puck. Shot towards the net, deflection. Couple whacks at it, but the goaltender keeps it out. Augustana trying to regroup, go behind, wrap around behind the net, pass across the blue line, descended through the neutral zone, and with a light touch, set it towards Hall, and they are gonna do a line change. Nine minutes, 22 seconds left in this first period, folks. On the ice for the Voyageurs. We've got McDonald Correa. Voyagers win that face off. That was Matthew Reese. Augustana with the puck now. They managed to keep it in the Voyagers zone. Raymond with it, passes it up to the captain. He sends it into the corner. Raymond gets it now. A sharp angle shot, but Hall is there to cut off the angle. Oh, and there's a shot with a stick, but there's gonna be no call, and he is hurting from that. In the meantime, though, that was number 24 who took the shot, Matt Raymond. And uh, he took that from Carruthers. And number 40, Brett Weisskoster took offense. And so after some dialogue with the officials, it's looking like there's gonna be no penalties called, but there's definitely no love lost in the grand scheme of things. Mentioning Brett Weisskoster, that reminds me don't forget, folks, tomorrow, September 21st, is the official beginning of Oktoberfest. So, you have two weeks to celebrate good beer, good sausage, and good company. 8.57 left in the first period. Headed out on the ice. We got Goral. We got, Re we got Reese heading to the faceoff dot. And then to his right, he's got... Barrickton. Barrickton, who's here all the way from Moscow, Russia. I'm gonna have to learn the proper pronunciation of his name uh, for future games, but we have high hopes for our European player. Voyagers win the face off. Dal Korea has the puck now, brings it out of the Voyager zone, dumps it in, a quick lob, but Augustana's goaltender is going to scoop that up. We got some nasty looking business going on and behind the Augustana net right this time. A few words passing by, but no real fists being thrown. Officials getting there nice and quick. Officials making sure to keep this as clean as possible. We have a helmet off, but no one's any worse for wear. Voyagers win that face off. Quick little jab towards the net, but Osman is there to shut the door yet again. Osman, if I uh, remember him correctly from uh, past statistics, he is actually one of those loaded guns. You don't want to let him get hot because he will stop everything. Shot from the blue line, goes wide, bounces off the boards, and Augustana manages to come up with it behind the net, set it up to their man, and he carries it over the blue. Going through the neutral zone now, 
Augustana can't really find a lane. So he circles back and he dumps it towards the corner. Voyageurs managed to get a little bit of a check in there, but Augustana still has it. Number four has it now, lob shot, and it goes over the blue into the neutral zone. Augustana comes up with it, and they send it right back out. Voyageurs managed to break up that pass play, but Augustana comes up with it yet again. Augustana now going into Voyager territory. He has a look, no one there. Tries to do a deke, but Voyageurs break that up. Voyageurs now send it out of their own zone, but Augustana's defense managed to come up with it yet again. Augustana sends it in deep, but Hall's there to stop that puck behind his net, and he leaves it for Bell. Bell passes it up, sends it to his man, and it, oh, and he gets it in over the blue line. No, no uh, offside call. Shot towards the net, but that gets uh, mixed up into some traffic. Voyagers keep it in at the blue, though. Voyagers now having a look, but Augustana managed to come up with it and clear the zone. Voyagers take a whack at it, send it out, but Augustana sends it right back in. So the Voyagers, ably, he's going to do the long pass, chip at the red line, so we're going to get no icing. Voyagers looking to sneak in and provide some pressure. People cheering from some uh, good physical action out there. Augustana with it now, looking to clear their zone. He has a look, long pass to the blue. Number 91 was there, but he couldn't get a handle on it. Oh, and a huge hit just narrowly averted by Furlong. Augustana comes up with it now, tries to take a shot, but it gets deflected through some traffic, and Voyagers come up with it in the corner. Send it over the blue. There was contact, so the linesman calls off the icing, and Augustana forced to regroup behind their own net. Augustana having a look. Augustana brings it into Voyager territory. Augustana applying some pressure behind the net. Carruthers has to think fast, get the puck up to Shalafu, who's gonna send it over the blue line. And he gets it up to his man, number 12. Does a quick little move, gets through the defenseman's legs, but Augustana managed to come up with it. Oh, Voyager's take it right back, shot on net! And Osmond with the big save there. Voyager's having a look. And find the man, and after a quick whack at the puck, it goes off the stick and into the Augustana bench. Five minutes, 44 seconds left in the first period. This first period is winding down. We still have two goose eggs for a goal, but both teams are hungry, and I gotta tell you, the Voyagers are applying a lot of pressure. Osman having to look pretty smart out there to keep it a 0-0 game. Augustana wins that face off. Dump it out of their, try to dump it out from the corner. Voyager's now battling to keep it in. Augustana gets a handle on it. It's hovering around that blue line. Voyager's keep it in and it's still on side. Applying pressure now, but man's all by himself. Voyager set it up the blue line, shot on it! And Osman has to flash the leather. Osman was able to keep a good eye on it all the way from the blue. There wasn't a lot of traffic in front of him, so he was able to easily scoop that up. Face off to the right of Osman. Augustana comes up with the puck after that face-off. They're behind their own net, send it up to the blue, but the Voyageurs managed to get it in the neutral zone. Bell with it now, sends it up. Long pass, no icing on the call, and the Voyageurs come up with it after it goes behind Augustana net. Voyageurs with it in the corner now, with Augustana applying some pressure, trying to get that puck back. At the blue, Bell has it now, sends it across. Nobody home, so the Voyageurs, yet again, are going to have to try to re-strategize. Defenseman has it, sends it into the corner. Augustana tries to send it around the net, but the Voyageurs try and break that up. And they manage to get it right back in front of the net. Has a look. Pass up front, no one there. And it goes off the glass, and Augustana has managed to get it out of the zone.
Augustana with it now. Set it up to the blue line. He has the look. Doesn't take the shot. Sets it over to 11. He's looking for someone to pass it to or a shot. He has to try and dump it in the corner, and the Voyageurs manage to knock the man off the puck, and they come up with it as well. Oh, Augustana seals it right back, right in front of the net for the Voyageurs. Bell gets down there and manages to get a skate on it. The Voyageurs with a high lob into the neutral zone. Augustana with a stretch pass, but he can't keep control of it, so Bell sends it right back out. Voyageurs with it now. Up to the blue line. Shot! No, that one goes way wide. Voyageurs. Voyageurs keeping it at the blue. McDonald Correa dumps it into the corner. We got blue sweaters, white sweaters in the corner. And the puck getting whacked around. Not making a lot of progress. Now Augustana finally comes out with it. Augustana skating through the zone. Dumps it into the corner. There's nobody there. Voyageurs come up with it. McDonald. Looking to try and get that puck out. While Zes Zesitko manages to get it back up to the blue. Shot from the blue, but it goes far wide. Augustana, though, comes up with it, and they're in the corner now. Oh, we got some physical action, and the Voyageurs managed to knock the man off the puck, but the Augustana keeps it in at the blue. Another attempt. Blocker saved by Halsey. Coke with it now. Beach. Beach tries to set into the blue, but there's no one there, so the Augustana is going to have to retreat to the neutral zone. Voyageurs, in the meantime, managed to come up with the puck in their own end. McDonald Correa has a look, stretch pass. Oksana manages to come up with the puck in their own end. Lob it out. Voyager's there to stop it right at the red. But that goes kind of nowhere. Voyager's have to retreat to their own end and regroup. McDonald Correa passes it across to his man. And he dumps it in. Long dump. And Osmond is able to keep a good line of sight on that. And comes up with a glove save. One minute, 49 seconds left. Both teams chop it at the bit. Face off to Osmond's left. Voyagers won the face off, but number 40 managed to steal it for Augustana and he dumps it out. McDonald Correa now regrouping in his own end. Has a look, pass it up to his man who just gets a stick on it and sends it deep into uh, Augustana territory. Augustana. Weak clearing attempt, so the Voyagers managed to keep it in. Augustana, after bringing it behind their own net, managed to skate it out of the zone. McDonald Correa has an eye on the man. Voyagers break that up. Shalafu now trying to get some action going, but Augustana managed to clear the zone yet again. Augustana now gets it at the red, having a look. No one there. They're just going to dump it in while they all go for a big line chain. Halsey puts the paddle down, gets the puck ready for his man. Passes it over to McDonald Correa. Voyager's managed to get it into Augustana territory. He's having a look. 45 seconds left in this first period. Voyager's keeping the pressure on, keeping the puck in Augustana territory. Pass up front, but it gets broken up by Augustana. And Augustana now looking to clear the zone, and they manage to do so. Regrouping. Send it through the neutral, and it winds up uh, heading in behind Hall's net. Voyageurs now. Reese has it. He has a look. Off the glass, over the blue line, but Augustana's there to scoop it up right away. Augustana now. 13 seconds left in this first period. Augustana looking to make something happen. Voyageurs steal it right back. With five seconds left, they're in Augustana territory. He's got to shoot it. Dumps it in the corner, and that's the end of the first period. And the statistics state Voyagers with nine big shots, 
And Augustana with eight. So that is looking pretty good for our Voyageurs to start off this preseason hockey action. Both teams heading back to the to their respective dressing rooms to regroup and get a little uh, advice and rehydration. And we'll be back in less than 15 minutes with more Voyager action here at the Bull Center in Lacklamish. Good to go. Welcome back, folks, for some second period action here from the Bolt Center. Some quick statistics before that puck drops at center ice. So, the only penalty came uh, from Augustana. That was number 19 with a big cross check. And the shots, as I said, at the end of the first were nine to eight in favor of Portage College. Both teams definitely looking to make an impression. And as I stated at the beginning of the game, players are vying for the starting positions. So they're looking to put on a good show. And speaking of big good shows, Augustana wins that faceoff. Voyagers now managed to reclaim the puck in their own end. Set it around the boards. Gets stopped at the hash marks, caught up in some skates, and the Voyager center right back behind Hall's net. Voyager is now looking to clear the zone, and they do that. Mark Santa manages to deflect it, pick it up at the, and send it back in Voyager territory. Voyagers take it out now. Send it in deep, but Augustana comes up with it. McDonald's giving it a quick chase. Augustana still manages to clear the zone. Despite their best efforts, Augustana goes offside, so the Voyagers got a chance to clear their end now. Quick lob in, and the Voyagers get some fresh legs out on the ice. Pass up front. Voyagers looking to get that, get control over that puck. Evans has it now, behind the Augustana net. He's having a look. Pass out to Yarish. Yarish back to Evans. Evans up front, but that gets deflected by Augustana. Augustana now reclaims the puck. Voyager steal right back. Yarish tries to tip it, but Augustana's goaltender, Osman, is right there to shut things down, freeze the puck, and give them a whole new line on ice along with a brand new faceoff. We got Leighton teamed up against Shalafu. Augustana wins that face off. They bank it off the boards, try to clear it, but Voyager's bat it down, keep it in. Augustana manages to get it over the blue line eventually, but the Voyager's send it right back in. Late now, tries to clear it. Voyager's managed to yet again whack it back in. Augustana gets the puck behind their own net. Voyager's trying to steal it, but Augustana manages to get into the neutral zone. Voyagers have a look. Pass the puck up. Augustana there to disrupt that attempt. A few bodies in there. And Augustana comes up with a pass cross, number 24. But that gets broken up by the Voyagers. Voyagers manage to stick it out. Unfortunately, they fall offside. They're offside, so the Voyagers have to retreat to the neutral zone while Augustana. Regroups behind their own net. Augustana now skates it out of their own end through the neutral zone. Voyagers break it up right at the red, regain control of it. He has a look, quick shot on net. Osmond with the pad down. Voyagers send it towards the net, but that gets broken up. Voyagers now. Trying to get that puck back, and they do. And they carry it out of their own end. We got a bit of an odd man rush on our hands. Augustana managed to come back just in time, though, to disrupt that attempt. And we got ourselves a penalty. And it looks like it's going to be going against the Voyageurs. Number 26.
Jake Parker head into the sin bin for two minutes. Sixteen fifty six left in this second period. Face off happening to Halsey's left. And we've got Caden Cole heading to the faceoff dot. After a pretty intense battle, Augustana comes up with the puck. And they start, start up their passing strategy while the Voyagers establish their box. And the box works out because they managed to clear the zone. Osmond comes out, gets the paddle down. Leaves the puck for Smith. Smith has a look. And he carries it through his own end and over the blue line. Passes it up. Voyager's has to break that up, send it right back in. Osmond has to come out and play it again. Osmond has to be relatively quick because the Voyagers were right on the doorstep. Augustana through the neutral zone, send it into the corner. No one there. Voyagers managed to keep uh, the defensive pressure on. Augustana pass up front, but that gets that shot gets broken up. Augustana with it at the blue line now. Smith has a look, sends it back to the number seven. Smith with it again, passes across to his man. Deep down, shot. And from this angle, it's hard to see what happened. I think Hall came up with the save. Augustana had a man down in front, but there was no infraction on the play, so we're gonna remain with the Augustana power play unit out there. 52 seconds left in this penalty. Augustana wins that face off. Sends it to the blue. Fetzman has a look. Sends it back to number two. Two sends it down to his man. Back up to 12. 12 has a look. Sends it across the defense. Back to two. Back down. Shot. That goes off the skate. Goes wide. And it bounces all the way out and goes all the way into Augustana territory. Voyagers applying some offensive pressure, but they're playing relatively conservative until this penalty expires. Augustana now trying to drive it in. They're regrouping. Voyagers setting up the box. Layton. Fifteen oh one left in the second period. Six seconds left in the penalty. Voyagers on the brink of killing off their first penalty of the game. Augustana wins the faceoff though, with four seconds left. Shot from the blue line bounces around and it goes wide. Voyagers managed to clear it out right as the penalty expires. We're back to full strength. Voyagers get the puck back in their own end. Quick chip, and they pick it up. Send it over the blue, but Augustana breaks up that passing play. Sends it deep in, but Augustana has to retreat to the neutral zone so they're not offside. Voyagers now bringing it through the neutral. Oh, and the Voyagers with some smart passing. Augustana had to be uh, quick-witted about the whole thing to make sure they broke up that attempt. Voyagers now, long pass into the neutral zone. They managed to maintain possession. Shot towards the net, that flies high and wide. Voyagers looking to set something up. Shalafu in the hunt for the puck, but the Vikings managed to clear it out. Voyagers now with the puck at their own end, pass it around, it goes off a skate, but they still managed to get it out. Vikings send it right back in though, looking to apply some pressure of their own. Voyagers. Clear the zone, but Augustana picks it up right away at the red. But the Voyagers break up that offensive strategy, and now they bring it in for some offensive action of their own. Shot towards the net, goes off the body and goes behind the net. Voyagers pick it up at the blue, send it right back into the corner. That was Bad Acton who was in the hunt. 
But he managed, couldn't manage to come up with it, and now Agustin is able, able to send it all the way down to our end. Voyagers now with a lob, get it over the blue. Bad acting there, but he wasn't able to come up with it. Agustin sends it all the way back. Voyagers start from behind their own net, bring it over the blue. Slams the brakes and dumps it in uh, behind Augustana net. Augustana manages to come up with the puck. Ripley with it now, has a look, but he's still in his own end, sends it back to Kosh. Kosh crosses to his man, back to Ripley, and Ripley gets it into the neutral zone. He does, does a big lob, it goes behind Hall's net, but the Voyagers come up with it. Voyagers now, bring it through the neutral zone, pass cross. Man can't get a stick on it, so Smith is going to pick it up behind his own net. Voyager's trying to keep it in at the blue, but Augustana manages to get it out. But unfortunately, they wind up offside, and we are going to get a faceoff just outside the blue line. Officials getting in there now, making sure there's no extracurriculars taking place after the whistle. Face off just outside of Augustana's blue line. Augustana wins it. Pass across to Smith. Smith has a look, carries it up over the blue, and dumps it in once he just passes that red. Hall comes out, gets the paddle down, lobs it up from behind his net up to his man, who's trying to get it out of the zone. But Augustana manages to inhibit that. Luckily for Voyageurs, they happen to be sitting right there, so Augustana didn't have an open man. Augustana now, keeping the pressure on, set it behind the net. Set it right back behind the net, Voyagers come up with it. Voyagers set it back into the corner, but Augustana's there. Pass across, nobody home, so the Voyagers now are able to get that puck out. But Augustana picks it up right at their own blue line, and they're looking to keep that pressure on. Got a few skaters changing up. Light. Shot on net, and Hall is there to shut that down with ease. 11 minutes, 25 seconds left. Voyagers sending McDonald Correa out there. Long. We are going to take a second attempt at that faceoff. Linesman wants to make sure it's a clean as possible. We're going to get the center guy switching out for the Voyagers. Voyagers still managed to win that face off even though they had the swapped out centerman. Voyagers now carry through the neutral. Dump it into Augustana's corner behind the net. Come up with it behind the net. Shot! Quick shot from Reese. But Augustana manages to come up with the rebound. Augustana with the big lob set into Voyager territory. And we are going to get a penalty against the Voyageurs. At the same time, Augustana having a few words with one of our Voyageurs defensemen behind the net. But it's looking like it's only gonna, it's looking like we are gonna get actually both Augustana and Voyageurs in the penalty box. Officials having a bit of a meeting in the referee's circle. Get, make sure they get all calls clarified and clear. And we're about to find out if this is gonna be five on five or four on four because there was a Voyager's penalty to start things off, but the Augustana penalty came up right after the whistle went. Uh, when they were all the way, the Voyager's penalty took place behind the <laughs> Osmond's net. And uh, the Augustana penalty occurred after the whistle behind Halsey's net. So we're going to wait patiently and see what the story is. Personally, I think it'd be interesting to see some four on four action. Open up the ice a little bit. McDonald has been working pretty strong with his power play unit and his penalty kill unit trying to beef them up for this new season
So that's two different penalties. So yeah, we're gonna remain four on four out there. Number 40 for Augustana, Weishorster. And then number 25 for the Voyagers. Voyagers now with the puck in their own end. Pass it up, deking in Augustana territory, but they managed to break that up. But Voyagers keep it in, quick shot on net. Osman has to look sharp, gets the blocker on it. <coughs> Evans now trying to get something going, but after lobbing it across, he switches off. We got some fresh legs on the ice. Augustana now with the puck. Leighton passes it to his man. Voyagers managed to come up with it. Augustana keeps it out of the blue line though. Augustana now carries it into Voyager territory. Have his look, passes it back, nobody there. So Osman comes out to corral the puck and he leaves it for his man, Owen Wheatley. Wheatley now carrying it through. Pass it across, but the Voyagers break up that play. Augustana manages to regain the power, control of the puck behind their own net. Oh, pass up front! Hall has to look, Hall has to be on the ball for that one. Augustana, with, that was a quick passing play that went from behind the net and quickly on his man's tape, and that shot was off lightning fast. Luckily, Hall had a read on it. Twenty-six versus ninety-one at the faceoff. Dodd Voyagers win that one. And the pass, long stretch pass, nobody there, but there's no icing called. So Cole with it now. He's looking to piss it up to Furlong. Furlong in there, and Augustana applying some pressure of their own. Not a lot of movement happening with that puck along the boards. Ref keeping a good eye on it, and now Wheatley has it. He's looking to get it out of his zone. Passes up to 91 as he carries it over the Voyager blue line. Pass across. Oh, and Halsey with the pad down. Keeps the puck out of the net, and it's still a 0-0 hockey game. Voyagers now carrying it through the neutral zone into Alexander territory. Pass up, shot towards the net through traffic, but that gets deflected into the corner. Augustana now with an odd man rush. Headed over the blue, it's Starfish, and with that pass shot, Halsey saves it with the blocker sending up in the netting. In the meantime, Parker and Wheatley having a few words. Now number 40. Weishorster getting in on it as well. Osman though, quick to tell Weishorster to break it up. They don't need to go down another man because the Voyageurs have been providing a lot of pressure. And unfortunately, it looks like our man, number 26, Jake Parker, is going to the penalty box. So uh, right as soon as that dual penalty expires, Parker goes into the box and the Voyagers are now sure-handed. And from the looks of it, our penalty kill unit is getting ample amount of practice tonight. Eight minutes, 16 seconds left in this second period. A 0-0 hockey game. Face off to Hall's right. Augustana wins that one. They come up with it at the blue line. Augustana taking their time, having a look. Voyager's trying to box them out. Augustana sends it to the corner, back up to the blue. Sends it straight across to his other defenseman. Number two with the shot. Halsey gets a blocker on it, and we got ourselves a save, but they can't clear it. Another shot. Voyager's get some bodies in the way, and that one goes behind the net. Augustana maintains control of it. Send it back to the blue now. He has a look for himself. Shot through traffic. It goes nowhere but into the boards. Augustana keeps that puck at the Voyager's end. Another wide shot, but that's still pretty scary stuff if you're a Voyager's fan. Voyager's trying desperately to get the control of that puck so they can get out of zone. Augustana with it in the corner now, having a look. Voyager's keeping that box intact. Augustana now from the blue to the face-off dot. Voyager's get a light stick on it, but that's just enough to get it out of zone. And we are gonna get some fresh legs on the ice. 
And that was a much needed clearing by the Voyageurs. Voyageurs now get it at the red line, and we are going to get a two on two rush. Voyageurs take a shot. It goes off on Augustana leg and up into the netting. So we will see. And it's looking like that faceoff is going to stay in Augustana territory, which is definitely a bit of a blessing for the Voyageurs, considering there's 41 seconds left in this penalty. Vikings having a little dialogue amongst themselves, trying to come up with some strategy. Phillips against Evans at the faceoff dot. Phillips comes up with a big win. Evans, though, in pursuit, goes after Wheatley behind the net. Wheatley manages to get it up to his man, who's going to carry it out of his own. Evans, relentless, manages to knock the man off the puck, and the Voyagers send it back in uh, Vikings territory. Osmond has to come out and play it now real quick. He sends it over the blue, but the Voyagers manage to take that puck right back. Vikings now applying some pressure, and we are going to get another penalty against the Voyagers which is gruesome and brutal because there's 11 seconds left in this penalty. So we're going to be two men down for 11 seconds. That tripping was somewhat incidental, but nevertheless, it's one of those scenarios where the man's got to be in control of his stick. So Vikings setting up to apply some hard pressure for these next 10 seconds. The Voyagers win that face off, try to clear it out, but it winds up at the blue line on Viking stick. Vikings send it over to number two, sends it over to his man, back to two. He's looking for the shot, and Hall, what a big save! Six minute, 14 seconds left in the second period. It's still a 0-0 hockey game because it plays like that. Voyageurs now getting a couple fresh legs out there. Voyageurs win the face off, managed to clear the zone. They set it all the way down. Osmond coming out. Stop that puck behind the net, leaving it for Stollery. Stollery has a look. Looking to pass it across to Leighton, but the Voyageurs are there to make him think twice about that. Finally gets it to Leighton, who carries it through the neutral zone. But uh, off time collision. Allows the Voyagers to get that puck right back and send it right out. Vikings now. Passing scenario, trying to get something to squeak by Hall, but Hall's there to shut the door. Vikings trying to capitalize on uh, this extended power play scenario. Back into the corner, Vikings still in control of it. Send it up front. Voyagers break that up and they're able to get it over the blue. Not far enough to get fresh legs on the ice, but it's enough to force the Vikings to retreat and regroup. Vikings now heading into Voyager territory. They have a look. Up to the blue line, straight across to his man. Back to six. Six has a look. Pass through, but Hall was able to keep a big eye on that. The clearing attempt winds up in the netting. And we've got uh, a lot of hands pointing as to who's to blame. And it looks like it's going to turn out to be in the Vikings' favor. We are going to get a face-off to Hall's right. Just under five minutes left. 32 seconds left of the penalty. Voyagers with an important win at the face-off. They get in a neutral zone. And they get a stick on it, and they send it all the way down. Osmond coming out to play, but the Voyagers applying some serious pressure. He has to go do it a little quicker than he anticipated. Voyagers break up that pass attempt, but Vikings manage to take it right back. Shot through traffic, Halsey with the pad down, and the Voyagers manage to pick up the rebound and send it all the way down the ice. Three seconds left in this penalty, and the Voyagers manage to kill another one. We are full strength. Vikings try to send it in. Voyagers stop it right at the blue. Vikings eventually whack that puck deep into the Voyager's end, but the Voyager's come up with it, and an even uh, after a big hit, we still got it heading into the neutral zone. Voyager's now looking to set something up. Nice little maneuver, quick shot on net. Osman had to be on the ball for that. Puck goes into the neutral zone, and Vikings send it deep into Voyager territory, but the Voyager's get there first. 
They whack it around, but the Vikings manage to scoop it up behind the net, bring it back out front. Voyagers keeping the pressure on, trying not to give him any space to get creative. Voyagers now having a look. Vikings still in possession of the puck. Vikings got nowhere to go with it, so he just dumps it straight into the corner. Voyagers come up with it, and with a bouncing puck, they manage to get it in the neutral zone, and they maintain possession now. You got Evans with it. Puck got deflected in the corner, but the Voyagers maintain it back up to the blue line. Quick little stop and go. Voyagers still maintaining possession. Pass over to Yarish. Yarish with the shot that flies a million miles wide, but it was still making the goalie sweat, you could tell. Voyager set it behind the net all the way around. Parker with it now, tries to get it up to his man, but the Vikings managed to break that up. So as they bring it through the neutral zone, Voyager's creating some traffic and he's got really nowhere else to go. Voyager set it into Viking territory and Osmond's gonna get a glove on it to freeze it to allow his guys to change up and regroup. Voyager's taking the time to catch a quick breath. It's looking like they're gonna keep the same guys on the ice. We got Parker, we got Cole, we've got Mumbai. Vikings come up with the puck after the faceoff, send it through the neutral zone. It's a long stretch pass, no icing. Hall comes out, sends it into the corner. Voyagers looking to get possession of that puck and they do. Nice pass up to the red line. And number two with the shot. Oh, excuse me, number 22. McDonald, quick wrister, and Osmond had to flash the leather. Osmond had a good look at the whole thing from start to finish, but that wrister had some momentum. So he had to flash the leather pretty quick to make sure it stays a 0-0 hockey game. 133 seconds left in the second period. Voyagers win the face off. Yarish sends it to the blue. The Ripley, believe it or not, gets that puck and he carries it through the neutral zone and Voyagers end. Leaves it for his man who brings it around behind the net. Sends it up to the blue. Lob in, but the Voyagers break that up. But the Vikings keep it in at the blue yet again. Vikings now with the backhander and Halsey's able to scoop that up. Freeze the puck. And we're going to get a couple fresh legs on the ice. Wow. And more than a couple, actually. It looks like the Voyagers are doing a wholesale line change. Number 23, 16, 12. All out on the ice right now. Voyagers heading to the faceoff side against Leslie, Javen Leslie. He wins that faceoff, sends it back to the blue. Has a defenseman has a look, winds up going nowhere with that pass attempt. Winds up behind the net, the Voyagers with it now, but Augustana steals it right back. Pass up front. Ah! Oh, it goes off a body, and it just deflects over top of Hall's pad to make it a 1-0 hockey game with only 98 seconds left in this second period. Augustana getting a bit of a lucky deflection on that one because Hall had a good, strong look at the whole thing from start to finish. But Augustana, with that deflection, is able to take the lead. And lucky bounce or not, a goal is a goal, and Augustana's going to take it. Voyagers win the faceoff. Got it at their own blue line. Have it a look. Sends it in. Goes off a skate, but number 17 in pursuit. Still has possession of it. He gets knocked off the puck just now. But he's getting a little support from McDonald. McDonald with it now. Sends it back up to the blue. Defenseman has a look. Deeks it a little bit. Sends it back to McDonald. McDonald sends it through traffic. It deflects. Goral has it now. But he gets knocked off the puck. Back up to the blue line. Light pass through traffic. Goes nowhere. Oh, and we are going to get a penalty against Augustana for some really greasy, messy work. Reese was down on his knees, and Augustana is number six, Smith. 
grinding that head right into the ice. But although the ref whistled it down, there's going to be no penalty. Hey, ref! Are you blind? Voyagers win the faceoff, set it up to the blue. Voyagers come up with it now, have a look. Set it back towards the corner, Augustana with it there. Number 91, pass off, the tries to lob it off the glass to send it out, but that goes up in the netting. We're gonna get another face off to Osmond's left. Voyagers win that face off. Tries to pass it to the blue, but nobody's there. And now we got an odd man rush. Augustana sends a light one to the net. Hall wasn't able to get a glove on it. And then eventually when he wound up covering it up, Augustana takes another whack at it. The puck came loose, but the whistle had already gone. And that's why we're getting some pretty rough action going on now. We got some gloves in the face. Number 26 for the Voyageurs. Parker taking exception to that aggressive work against our goaltender. Linesman break it up. Ref has a few words, and it looks like we're getting a couple bodies going to the penalty box. Looks like it's going to remain five on five for this. My mistake. I'm only seeing four bodies for each. Shalafu heading out there. We've got uh, Mason Beck skating out with him. It's going to be four on four action for the next 38.7 seconds of the second period. Augustana wins that face off, center to blue. He sends her right into the corner and behind the Voyager's net. Augustana maintains possession, but the Voyager's with a big hit, and they come up with it behind their own net. Augustana applying pressure. Try to steal that puck right back, but the Voyagers managed to get it out and into the neutral zone. 20 seconds left. Voyagers looking to make an impact. Augustana's defense managed to break that up. And Beck, with a bit of a shot, manages to knock the man off the puck. But Augustana still managing to clear the zone. That was number 11, Jordan Bechtold, putting the body on the line to get it out. And Augustana with some pressure right at the very end. But the puck stays out of the net, and we have ourselves a 1-0 hockey game. There's going to be a minute 22 of 4-on-4 four four action to start this third period. So we're going to go through. We're going to go through some statistics for this second period. Voyageurs taking the bulk of the penalties in that one. We had number 26 with a boarding call. Let's give you some names later. Parker had a boarding call, along with Reese, who had a charge. Parker with a roughing call, and then also Yarish getting a trip. And then we had uh, that last one, which was number 28, Yarish again, getting a roughing, and he went to the sin bin at the same time as number seven, Owen Wheatley. Now with regards to Augustana, number 40, Brett Weishorster had a roughing, and that pretty much does it. The Voyageurs lopsided when it comes to the penalty kill, but they managed to keep it a one nothing hockey game. Augustana definitely coming out a lot more strong in that second period compared to how they looked in the first, but both teams putting on a good display of hard, aggressive hockey. We'll be back in less than 15 minutes with more Voyager hockey action from the Bolt Center here in Lac La Biche. They retreat in their own end, but they're able to have a pretty good long look and he passes it up. Still four on four with a minute eight left in the penalties. Augustana keeps it in at the blue line. Light shot on Hall. Hall kicks it out. Voyagers pick up the rebound, but they failed to clear it. Augustana now 
sends it wide over the net. Oh, but they get the rebound, and Hall had to be on the ball. Hall on the ball. I like that. The Voyagers managed to clear it out. Get it into Augustan territory, and they regroup behind their own net. Trying to carry it out now. Set it through the neutral zone. Augustan is still in possession with it. They dump it into Voyager territory. And McDonald Correa now behind his own net. Carries it through his own zone. Over the blue line, into the neutral, over the red. And into the Viking territory. McDonald Correa still with it. Looking to do something fantastic. Oh, and Osman barely got a stick on it. But the Vikings had to resort to some form of a penalty against McDonald Correa to keep that puck out. And the Voyageurs are going to go on the power play. Question is, is it going to be four on three for the next 16 seconds, or is it going to be five on four? It's looking like the next 16 seconds is going to be a four on three scenario. And after those two penalties expire, the Voyageurs are going to have a minute 44 of power play action. Refs having a chat, trying to confirm. And it's looking like now they're passing on the dialogue to the Voyageurs Cole and the captain for the Vikings. No matter what the news is, it's less than ideal for the Vikings. Voyageurs sending out some fresh legs. Vikings got a defenseman having a quick conversation with Osman, trying to come up with some form of a strategy to get ready for these next 16 seconds. Granted, it is going to be a power play or a penalty kill in their cases for the next minute 44 after that. But nevertheless, when you're down to three men, things are pretty dangerous. Voyager is battling. Vikings managed to come up with the puck and they clear it all the way down and that's going to take away some of that precious time of four on three for the Voyageurs. Voyageurs now with six seconds, five seconds left in that four on three, carry it through the neutral zone. One second now and we are about up to five on four. Voyageurs still in possession of the puck. The Vikings managed to steal it away and they dump it and send it all the way down. Hall comes out, gets the paddle down, leaves the puck for his man. Voyageurs now. Carrying it through the neutral zone. Over the blue line. Augustana manages to get a stick on that and they send it all the way down again. Voyageurs needing to reconsider the strategy. Evans now coming out with some speed. Evans looking to make an impact. And he still has the puck. Carries it right. Behind the net. Pass up to number 22. That goes off a stick and up into the netting. And we are going to get a face off. In Viking territory. Two minutes elapsed from this third period. Both teams, even though it is preseason hockey, playing with intensity and aggression, knowing the importance of these preseason games. Augustana wins that faceoff. Take it, set it around behind their net, but the Voyagers keep it at the blue line. Voyagers set it all the way back around, and they get it near the hash marks. Augustana breaks up that pass attempt. Augustana now with the in corner, set it behind their own net. Looking to clear the zone, and they do just that. Voyageurs can't get a handle on it, and it goes all the way down behind the net. Hall misses it, bit of a missed timing, but they manage to clear the zone anyways. Icing is waved off. Vikings now looking to get it out of zone, which they do. Vikings carrying it in, looking for a sure-handed shot, which he gets. Hall had to get the big shoulder on it. Voyageurs now. Carry through the neutral zone. Looking to create some sort of a pass formation. Vikings abandoning the box formation to apply some serious pressure against the Voyageurs despite being a man down. <coughs> this penalty is officially expired with 16.52 left in the third period. Vikings with an out bringing into Voyager territory. Shot towards the net. Hall gets the big save with the rebound up front. Vikings can't corral it, and the Voyageurs are able to get to it. Shalafu with it now, trying to get it out. It's having some trouble 
And the Voyagers managed to get a stick on it, and they carry it into the neutral zone. Over the blue line, Vikings there to break up that passing play. Voyagers still applying pressure and keeping the puck behind the Vikings' net. Voyagers now stop it at the blue, send it back in. Vikings trying to keep the pressure on. Voyagers still in possession with it. Pass cross. 63 sends it down to his man in the corner. He has a look. Skate around. His shot gets deflected, flies over the net, but Voyagers still have it at the blue. Shot through traffic. That gets broken up. And the Vikings now clear the zone and carry it through the neutral. Oh, a nice hip check. Vikings still have it, but that guy's going to feel that one a little later tonight. Vikings trying to do a sneaky pass from behind the net through the goalie crease, but Hall gets the legs open and he manages to cover up the puck with his pad. Looking like the Voyagers are gonna do a wholesale line change. Vikings only switching out a couple of men. Out on the ice, we got 27, we got 28, four, 21 and 44. Number 21, Evans heading to that face off top, but Mumby to his right. Vikings sending their fearless captain to the faceoff dot to go against Evans. And that gets whistled down right away, that faceoff. Uh, linesman feels that it wasn't as clean or as neutral as it should have been. So they're going to regroup and restart. Both players at the center dot. False start there. Voyagers win the faceoff. They manage to get it to the blue line, but it stays in. Mumby with it now, has a look, banks it off the boards, and that one's gonna get out. But the Vikings stop it right in the middle of the neutral zone, send it right back in. Shot towards Hall, he deflects it in the corner. Bell with it now, sends it behind the net. And it's looking like the Vikings are gonna be going to the penalty box. Both players, it seems, uh, uh, kind of hooked up each other's legs, but Raymond was the perpetrator, and he is gonna be having a sheet for two minutes. Voyagers now going on the power play, looking to create some sort of impact, looking to see if any of their power play strategy will be, uh, will result in some degree of success and tie this game up. Vikings win the face off, it goes right back to Osmond. Osmond covers it up immediately. Back to the face off dot. Vikings win that, set it behind their net. Voyagers come up with it though. Sends it back to his man. Vikings now set up the box while the Voyagers send the puck to the blue line. Voyagers having a look. Pass through traffic. Voyagers get the rebound, but they can't get the shot on yet. Vikings get a stick on it, send it all the way down. Hall stops it behind his net, leaves it for his man. And the Voyagers, McDonald Correa looking to set something up. He leaves it for his man as they all travel through the neutral zone. Dumps it in, bounces behind, oh, behind the Augustana net. And after a collision of sticks, that puck winds up in the netting. Now we got a few words between the Augustana player and our Voyagers, but refs are gonna get in there to separate that nice and quick and we're gonna get no penalties out of the deal. On the topic of penalties, minute 23 left in this Voyager power play. Augustana with the lead, one nothing. Voyagers win that face off, send it across but nobody's there. Augustana managed to get it just over the blue but the Voyagers get it back at the red. Bell now has it, sends it back to his man. Mumby takes a look, sends it over to Evans. Evans skates in, dumps it back for his man, back to the blue line, back to Bell. Shot, easy peasy save for Augustana's goaltender. Voyagers have it in blue again, send it through traffic. This time the goalie has to be a little more quick with the glove, it wasn't all that hard of a shot, but nevertheless, it was enough that he had to glove it, freeze it, and do a reset. 49 seconds left in the penalty. Voyagers looking to generate some sort of 
offense that uh, results in a goal. Augustana trying to keep it a one nothing hockey game. Augustana has the puck behind their net, dump it around, but the Voyageurs get to it first, set it up to the blue line. He sends it right back in. Voyageurs with it behind the net now. Carry it around. He has a look. Pass up towards his man. It winds up back behind the net. Now back up to the blue. He has a look. Shot through traffic. And Osman has to be quick with the glove again. I said it before and I'll say it again. Osman is one of those goaltenders. You got to be careful. If you let him get hot, he will stop everything. He will stop a bullet. Voyageurs lose the faceoff. Augustana manages to get possession of it, set it all the way down. Hall coming out now, has a bit of a play, leaves it for McDonald Correa. McDonald Correa carrying it up, having a look, leaves it out of the blue line for his man. The Voyageurs bring it into the Augustana territory. Off angle shot. Osmond had to cut off the angle to keep that puck out. Augustana manages to get back over the blue line. McDonald Korean agree, grouping in his, and he gives it away to the man who just got out of the penalty box, and Augustana brings it right into Voyager territory. Voyager's now having to play with a little haste to make sure Augustana can't create anything out of it. Yarsh taking a hit, but putting the body on the line to get the puck out of the zone. Augustana now regrouping in their own end, having a look, stretch pass, man's wide open, shot, and it's way wide and high. Voyager's now get to it first, Carruthers, McDonald, unable to get it out, pass cross, and they get it over that blue line. Icing is waved off, and Osmond comes out to play it, but the Voyageurs, oh! Osmond getting lucky there, just getting the glove on it. Voyageurs had a wide open net, and Osmond just got back in time to keep it a one nothing hockey game. Voyageurs ably with it now. Stretch pass to the blue line, and Voyager sent it all the way in behind the Vikings net. Vikings now looking to regroup, having a look. Voyager's giving them a little too much time. Augustana is one of those teams that if you give them too much time, they're going to come up with some sort of a strategy that'll bite you. Voyager's get it, keep it in at the blue. Quick shot. Osman with the save, but the rebound's still alive out front. Voyager's eventually they lose the angle on it. And Augustana takes it out and brings it into Voyager territory. Voyager's strong on the defense, forced the man into the corner, and eventually Augustana gets knocked off the puck. Voyager's, a couple whacks at it, they come up with it, and they just squeak it over the blue line. Voyager's now carried through the neutral zone, having a look, no one to pass to, so he takes a quick shot. That goes off an Augustana stick and up into the netting. So we're gonna get a face off in Augustana territory with 11. 27 left in this third period. Both teams hungry. Both teams looking to make an impression. Both teams remembering last season's. Oh, big rebound up front, but Osmond keeps it out. Voyager's come up with that at the blue line. Quick pass from the defense up the corner. Shot through traffic. And we're gonna get a few words between players, but nothing's gonna come of it. Voyagers head into the face-off dot. Augustana with the win, a very important win for them. Voyagers now get possession of it behind their net, but they find no one with the pass, and Augustana carries it out into the neutral zone. Three on three. Delaney with the pass up front. Voyagers break it up. But Augustana is still very much a big threat. And Voyagers managed to lob it into the neutral zone. Augustana now with possession. But Voyagers applying pressure. So he's got to do the quick pass. Gets it into the neutral. But the Voyagers managed to knock the man off the puck and regain possession. Voyagers now. Bell. Stretch pass to the blue. And the Voyagers managed to knock it in to the corner and behind the net. Passes it up to his man, Augustana. Applying pressure, preventing those Voyagers from getting that pass to the front of the net. Augustana coming up with it now after a big hit. Voyagers regain possession. Boy Bell having a good look. Bell holding on to it, then he passes it up to his man. Bringing it in 
Dog sad territory. Pass across the defense. Shot from the blue through traffic. No one there. Oh! And with the quick shot, he just misses. I think Osman managed to get a bit of a pad on that, and that's what made the puck fly wide. Voyageurs and Augustana. And the big scrum in the corner, and eventually the referee's going to call it dead since the puck is not in motion. 9.50 left in this third period. Both teams doing a wholesale change. Getting some fresh legs out there. We got 19, 22, 26 for our Voyageurs out there. Number 14 as well. And on the far left, number 11. Voyageurs head to face off dot. They get the win up to 11. Passes it across. Augustana gets a bit of a stick blade on it and they managed to force it into the neutral zone. Voyageurs regrouping in their own end now. Pass across to McDonald. McDonald carries it into Viking territory. Into the corner, tries to set it up front. He takes a big hit, but the Voyageurs still got possession of it. Pass, shot through traffic. Osmond's still able to keep that puck out. Vikings get the rebound and send it into Voyager territory. Shot from just inside the blue. And Hall is able to smother that, or scoop that up, I should say. Meantime, Kosh having a few words with McDonald Correa. Officials able to get in there and prevent any penalties from penalties or transgressions from coming to surface. Eleven for the Vikings. Special at the face-off dot. And he's up against Mason Beck. Beck knocks the puck, but the forward and the Voyagers are able to clear the zone. Vikings now bring it back into Voyager territory, but they're called offside. Face off just outside the Voyager's blue line. Vikings win that one. Send it back to their men on the D. Defense now looking to set it up. Passes it up to the left winger, back to the defense. Voyager's trying to mess up that passing play, and they do. They regain control of it, and they have it in the neutral zone. Pass over the blue, deflection, but the Vikings manage to scoop it up. Voyager's get it right back. Pass up front, but the Vikings break that up. Vikings now lose the puck. Voyageurs take a shot from the blue. That was number 63, Ethan Abley. And uh, Osmond, though, with a good view of that puck the whole way, and he manages to get that glove up and catch it like he was catching a line drive in baseball. Eight minutes, 30 sec seconds left. Vikings win the faceoff, just barely. Voyageurs were looking like they were going to get it right back, and they do now. Voyageurs with it, head back into the corner. Shot off, and that just goes off somebody, and that barely flies wide of the post. Voyageurs now set it behind the net. Augustana applying pressure, preventing that puck from moving. It's out, squeaks out now. Augustana sends it to the blue, but the Voyageurs set it right back in. It bounces off a few sets of skates. And the ref is going to call that puck dead as a result of a high sticking. Voyageurs sending some fresh bodies out. 26, 14, 4, 44, and 22. Voyageurs with a big win. Back to Bell. Bell has a look, bit of a skate, brings it into Augustana territory, it leaves it for his man, but he can't get a stick on it, it winds up going over the blue line. Voyager's regrouping now in the neutral zone. Dump it in, heads into Augustana's corner, send it around the net. Voyager's there though to prevent any chance of getting it out. Augustana gets it out now, brings it into Voyager territory, 
Oh, and that was Phillips who kept the puck the whole distance, skated in, looking like he was going to pass it, but then he cut in sharp, hard to the net, and Hall had to be alert to keep that puck out. Very uh, sneaky strategy by Phillips. A little physical action behind the net. Mumby having a few words now with number seven, Owen Wheatley. Smith having some words with the referee, finding out why there wasn't a penalty called against the Voyageurs. Ref letting him know that there wasn't nearly enough of an infraction to be uh, worth the two minutes. Augustana wins the faceoff, sends it back to his defenseman. Defense dumps it in. Hall comes out, plays the puck behind his own net. Leslie was there, but Voyageurs managed to still get it out. Pass up front. Shalafu wasn't able to get to it, so now it's in the neutral zone. Shalafu touches it now, leaves it for his man, McDonald Correa. McDonald Correa having a bit of a skate. Gets it in the neutral zone, and he, once he gets over the red, he dumps it deep in. Number 12 now goes after it, but he's being swarmed by multiple White sweaters. Augustana gets the puck to their man, but it's still behind Augustana's goal line. Voyageurs keeping a good amount of pressure on. Voyageurs now. Augustana clears the zone. Voyageurs come up with it. They bring it right back in. Augustana's able to prevent any passing play from occurring, so the puck winds up behind the net. And now, it looks like Osmond is able to freeze it, and we are gonna get another face-off. Once again, a few more aggressive words taking place behind the goaltender's net, and oh, we got a couple of shots happening. Couple shots as players are leaving the ice. Nothing's going to come of it, though. A couple of icy stares. Voyageurs lined up, getting ready to play. Augustana having a bit of a defensive meeting around the goaltender's crease. They're lining up now. And Augustana wins the faceoff. Carry it behind their own net. Pass up over the blue line. Voyagers break that up, but Augustana rec reclaims it and brings it into Voyager territory. Backhand pass flies high and wide by Raymond. Voyagers break up that strategy and set it right out. Augustana attempting to bring it right back in, which they do, but the Voyagers break that up yet again. Voyagers looking to create something with his last six minutes of the game. Voyagers now. Getting that puck. Augustana dumps it up, but the Voyagers pick it up at their own end. Carry it through the neutral zone. Dump it deep behind the net. Augustana gets to it first, but the Voyagers cutting off any passing play. Augustana, though, managed to scoop it up, and they are bringing it deep in. Shot on Hall, and I do believe that was Gallo who pulled a sneaky move reminiscent of Phillips. Light skate from earlier. F almost the exact same thing. Skate in, all calm-like. Can't tell if he's going to pass or what, and then he has a go at the net. Voyageurs now getting a penalty as a result of uh, some pushing and shoving that was taking place after the puck was frozen. Penalty kill unit out there. We got 44, 4, 14, and 26. Voyagers managed to clear it out. Send it all the way down. Vikings regroup in their own end. That was Furlong who winds up in the sin bin for his antics. And that was a big shot by Augustana, and Hall was there to keep the door closed and keep it a one nothing hockey game. 
Five minutes, 10 seconds left. Minute 42 left in this penalty for the Voyageurs. Mumby out there with Evans. Yarish out there as well. Augustana wins the face off. It's sends it to the blue line. Back to the hash marks. Back to the blue. Defenseman has a look, sends it across. Back to the defenseman. Shot through traffic, but that flies wide. Voyageurs now. Evans shoves his man into the boards, knocks him off the puck. Evans with another big hit. And he manages to clear the zone. Oh, and the ref is going to call that a penalty. Calling that a cross check. We're going to have to take his word for it on this one. So the Voyageurs down two men at a very dangerous part of the period. Four minutes, 46 seconds left in the third. Voyager's down one nothing, and they are gonna be facing a two man disadvantage for minute 18. Augustana calling a timeout to try and come up with some sort of a play strategy. Voyager's Having a bit of a meeting of their own, looking more like they're just gonna rest their legs, rehydrate a little bit while this timeout is in motion. That buzzer indicates that it's time to get back to some hockey action. And Voyager is deciding to put Abley out there with McDonald. And Carruthers. Augustana with it now, having a look. Voyageurs creating the triangle. The arrowhead trying to keep this puck on the outside. Shot through traffic. Hall gets a big piece of that. And the Voyageurs send it all the way down. Voyageurs now. Waiting for Augustana to make their move. Augustana comes in and they try and do a quick pass through the crease. That was Veench who passed it across to Leslie, but Hall managed to be there and cut that off and freeze the puck real quick. Carruthers in the meantime, having a few words for Leslie saying, hey, don't get too aggressive with our goalie, buddy. Yarish heading to the faceoff dot. This is a very important faceoff for our Voyageurs. And they managed to win it. Carruthers smacks it off the boards, managed to get it out, but it winds up in the neutral zone. And the ref is actually going to call a hand pass against Augustana because as it bounced off the boards, Augustana got a glove on it and it went directly to his own man. Therefore, that is going to bring that play action to a close. Four minutes, seven seconds left in the third. The refs having a conversation, trying to determine where this faceoff is going to take place. We're lining up just outside of uh, Augustana's blue line. Augustana wins that face off. Defenseman skates up to take possession a bit. And they send it in. Voyageurs now still at the two man disadvantage. Looking to get that man off the puck. Tries to clear it out. Carruthers, no success. And Augustana keeps it in his blue. He has a look. Trying to see if there's a lane to shoot that puck. Passes it over to his man. Back to number two. He passes it over to Beach. Beach misses, he fans on that and it goes wide. Augustana in possession with the puck still. 
Another off angle shot by the assistant captain. That one flies way wide. Shot through traffic. Hall with the big blocker save. Beach with it now behind the Voyager's net. Carruthers putting on some pressure. He, Beach gets it up to the blue, passes it over to Layton. Layton has a look, passes it back to Leslie. Leslie up front, but nobody's there. And that puck flies over the blue line. The Voyagers are gonna get some fresh legs out there. And we are now at a one-man disadvantage. And luckily for the Voyagers, that was called offside. And I say luckily because number 24, Augustana Vikings, Ben Stollery, he was all by himself on that one. Augustana wins the face off to the south side of the Voyagers blue, carried in, leaves the first man at the blue line, Voyagers trying to break it up. Augustana maintains possession, Voyagers needing to box him out with this penalty kill. Five seconds left in the penalty kill. Paul Santa looking for one last shot before it expires. Pass up to the blue. Voyager's at full strength now. Shot towards the net, but that goes off his own man. And Ripley has it now. Ripley has a look. Can't find anyone. Voyager's closing in on him. And with the pressure, he gives it away. Parker now trying to get it out. <coughs> Paul Santa breaks that up. Ripley with it again. Evans puts enough pressure that gives it up and Park is able to whack it and send it all the way down. But that's gonna be an icing call. That's gonna be an icing call against the Voyagers and the linesman making sure that all the Voyagers who are on the ice for that remain out there until uh, after the faceoff. So we got Bell, Evans, Mumby, Cole, and number 16, Shalafu. Excuse me, number 26, Parker. Voyagers win that face off. Bell with it now. Banks it off the boards. Gives it up to Cole. Voyagers send it in deep, but Augustana regains possession of it behind their own net. They got it in the corner now. Set it up towards the blue, and they get it out. It's carried through the neutral zone. Voyagers there to break up that. McDonald Correa applying pressure, but Leslie maintains possession. McDonald Correa with a good hit in the corner behind the net and he keeps the pressure on. Leslie not getting any space to do any magic, but Leslie still maintains possession. Leslie is a big guy and he's able to keep control of that puck. Now him and McDonald Correa having a few more uh, words if you want to call it that. Puck goes all the way into Augustana territory and Augustana manages to clear it right back out. Voyagers pull the goalie to get the sixth man. And with that icing, linesman making sure that uh, the Augustana players all stay on the ice. 72, excuse me, 82 seconds left in this period. Voyager's down one nothing, and they're looking to apply some serious offensive pressure with this six man out there. Voyagers call a timeout. McClellan gathering his team, trying to come up with an offensive strategy that'll potentially tie this game up. The Voyagers would like to give a big shout out to everyone who's tuned in for this game, especially the parents from far and wide. Uh, we've got a great variety of players from all across, not only this country, but also a great variety of players from Europe as well. But Acton from Russia, our own version of the Russian Rocket, Voyagers now with six men out there. They win the face off. Come up with it, shot from the blue, quick shot. And Osman had to be very quick for that one because that shot does, it did not stay on the Voyagers tape very long. He 
He whacked that puck and it was flying fast. Osmond getting there really quick though and keeping it a one nothing hockey game. 77 seconds left. We have the fans cheering loud, cheering proud. Trying to rally the troops. Voyagers win the face off. Augustana applying some physical pressure though. Knock the man off the puck. Voyagers get it. It's behind the net now. They're having a look. Augustana keeping the pressure on. Voyageurs eventually get it out into the corner, but Augustana gets there first. Augustana can't clear it. Voyageurs set it up to the blue, and oh! The pass was mishandled, and Bell wasn't able to keep it in. Augustana now with the open net, and they seal the deal with 49.5 seconds left in this third period. And with that nail in the coffin, we hear a silence fall over the crowd. I gotta tell you, it was still a really great hockey game. Nevertheless, both teams fighting, both teams battling hard. Augustana wins the faceoff, bring it into their own end, but the Voyageurs applying pressure. That's Barakton who's giving chase. Augustana brings it to the neutral zone, dumps it in deep into the corner. Bouvier gets there first. Excuse me, Bouvera gets there first. But the Voyagers managed to clear the zone. Augustana now regaining possession of it in their own end. Set it behind the net, try and get it to the blue line. Jumps over, and we have an odd man rush. Pass over, and that one is right into the water bottle. And it is a 3-0 hockey game. That was Gallo with a quick wrister. Hall unfortunately left to... Hang out to dry on that one. And you thought it was quiet after that second goal. You could hear pin drop now. 14 seconds left in the third period. Voyager's looking to gain possession of this puck and just finish out the game. Bell with it now. Sends it up to the blue. Augustana breaks that up. And they bring it right back in with five seconds left in the game. Pass across, goes into the corner. Voyager's defense managed to knock the man off the puck. And that is the end of this preseason hockey game. One last hit right as the buzzer is going. And uh, the Augustana players taking a bit of offense to that. But nothing's going to come of it. Uh, officials managed to get in there, break it up. And everyone's skating to their own respective ends. So, shots at the end of the game were 37 to 26 in favor of Augustana. Augustana getting a really lopsided shot statistic in that second period. A little closer in this one, 13 to 10. Nevertheless, Augustana coming out on top, not only when it comes to the shots, but also when it comes to that final score. Voyagers, though, Putting on a really good show, especially for the longest part of the game. It was only deep into this third period that Augustana eventually made uh, the game unattainable when it comes to a victory. And Jack Osmond getting player of the game for the Vikings, and rightfully so. The guy was stopping everything standing on his head and Halsey number one Luke Hall getting player of the game so both goaltenders walking away with the gold next preseason action game is going to be taking place here at the Bolt Center on October 5th if you are in the neighborhood, please come on out because our Voyagers are looking really sharp this year. Like I said, they might not have gotten the W at this game, but it was still some really, really great hockey. This has been Voyager Hockey Action from the Bolt Center in Lac La Biche. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll be with you next game.